I would say do what you need to do to protect your grandparents. I mean, this isn't just about you, it's about our community. And in order for us to accomplish the goals that we've set out with this order that's going into effect at five o'clock, I know it's hard. I know and that hard doesn't even begin to, to describe it. It's incredibly challenging. But in order for it to work, in order for us to be able to slow the infection, so or the disease, so we can take care of the, the sickest of the sick among us, we need to all do our part. So don't be selfish. Uh, do what's right, do what's right for the community. Household transmission is the most common way of getting this disease. Those are people who live and communicate in the closest settings and therefore it doesn't make sense that if you're sitting around a dinner table in close proximity or literally, dare I say, in bed in close proximity, that we then need to say, but when you go outside, you may not touch each other. So, so households um, can continue to function as households who have close contacts with each other, whether it's in their home or outside of their home. If it's individuals with whom you do not have a daily close communication with, like you get together with your friend every Saturday for drinks at the, or in their home or whatever, we would recommend that you do not continue to do that kind of socializing. Um, with, with respect to visiting grandparents, visiting, you know, bringing together families for Easter dinner, um, we're not going to be policing that. We ask people to take best precautions to recognize who the highest risk people are, so it may make sense. If grandma's not in a nursing home, but she has some underlying conditions, then maybe she does need to be fully isolated. Um, we have gone to the extent, absolutely, in people who are quite ill and or elderly and live in long-term care facilities, we have actually said that there should be no visitation in those situations. Um, short of that, family, families coming together within homes my advice is to please use your best judgment based on the risk characterization of the individual family members. But, it, but socializing across family units, we are actually recommending that that cease to happen. Right. We're, we're, not, take, uh, we're not taking this lightly. We know, we know this is a very difficult time for everybody. We're going to reevaluate these measures in two weeks. And in consultation with Dr. Bornstein, when we will lift this as soon as we can because we know the incredible disruption it is to, not only to people's lives, but we understand what this is, ha what this is, what, this is what's happening to people economically. I mean, if you're a small business owner, uh, I, 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 I feel for them. And this is going to be incredibly challenging, not just the stress of a pandemic, but also the stress of a, of a business that you see you can't, you can't continue to operate. Um, it's a very difficult time. But what's important again is we, in order to get back to normal as soon as we can, we got to come together and do it and take the actions we need to take now, so we can protect people and we again we can get back to normal as soon as we can. 